The organization I represent is called Convention of States. This is what we're doing. We're engaging young people like you. We're engaging old people like me. There are over 5 million people involved today. It takes 34 states to call a convention. So far, 15 states have joined the call for convention. I'll be in North Carolina next week. I expect North Carolina to be the 16th state to make the call for convention. We are going to get to a convention, and at convention, we're going to debate how to restrain the federal government from its excess abuses of power. We're going to debate a balanced budget amendment. Anybody think that the federal government spends too much? I think they spend way too much. We can impose a balanced budget amendment. Do you know that the federal government actually has no standards by which they do accounting? I was once at the OMB, the Office of Management and Budget. I asked them, do you use generally accepted accounting principles? GAAP is what it's called. And they said, no. And I said, what principles do, they, do you use? And they said, we don't have any. I said, no, I understand that, but what accounting principles do you use? They literally have no accounting principles. We need to impose gap on the federal government. We need to put tax caps on the federal government. We need to put spending caps on the federal government. Okay, now here's an easy one. Anybody here think that we need to impose term limits on the federal government? Yeah. Okay, trick question. Who thinks they'll impose term limits on themselves? Yeah, that ain't never gonna happen. Right, Congress is never gonna vote for term limits for themselves, so we can impose term limits on them. Also, term limits, what do you think about this? Term limits on the deep state, term limits on bureaucrats and staffers. We can do that too. And here's the last, and in my opinion, the best thing that we're gonna be talking about at this convention is how to limit the scope, power, and jurisdiction of the federal government. This is where the federal government's gotten out of control. They've exceeded the constitutional box. It's power expansion. Why do people wanna to go to Washington, D.C. forever? It's fun. You have an infinite amount of money to spend. You have no term limits. It's incredible. Everybody tells you how wonderful you are once you're elected. If you're a staffer, you have an amazing amount of power. If you're a bureaucrat, you have all this power, and you can make the American people do whatever they want. Can you, I mean, like, you might even be able to do something insane, like make them put cloth diapers on their face all the time. Yeah. Seems crazy, I know, but maybe. And so we can take that power away. We can tell them, how about this one? What do you guys think about saying, no, you may not have a Department of Education? Anybody in favor of that? <laughs> how about, no, you may not be involved in healthcare at the national level? We can do all of these things, but it's gonna be up to you. So it's gonna be up to us. Five million people already involved, the movement is underway. If you guys are interested in that, you can go to conventionofstates.com. I see some volunteers in the front row. Banks is here in the front row. He's one of our great volunteers. So you guys can actually be part of this. I think this is important because I think the most important thing that you can take away from a conference like this is not inspiration. It's not motivation. It's not looking up and seeing people on stage and saying, wow, those people were great speakers or those people are doing wonderful things. The thing that you should take away from here is you should say, I'm going to fight. I'm going to be one of the people who stands. I'm going to stand up instead of st stand down. Our posterity will judge all of us, your kids, your grandkids, and we can't know who wins this fight. These fights are existential. They've been going on throughout all of human history since the garden, and they'll go on until history ends. And it's not for us to know who wins. It's for us to fight the fight, to run the race. So what I'm asking you guys to do today is to stand up and run the race. Thank you, guys. God bless you for being here. I appreciate you. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer. You need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks are willing to step up and give everything. We need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.